So, uh, if we want to start uh, the machine, this cover need to be placed inside. See, you can hear a relay sound. So, we have a switch here. So, if the cover is open, the machine won't turn on. How okay, pulling this lever up will move the machine. So the machine will uh, spin clockwise if uh, the lever is on up. And center is uh, the machine will stop. This uh, one is for braking. And if we push the lever down, the machine will uh, spin on reverse direction. The first thing that we will do is we need to flatten this uh, surface. Okay, uh, this is the handle operation for the turning machine. So, this will move the tool sideways, left and right. This is a large incremental, while this on slow incremental for left and right and for in and out this is the lever okay so to face this first we need to set this uh, so it is barely touching the barely touching the surface so see if I spin this the digital out that move is the ZY so if I push this it will zero its location or you can use this uh, by rotating this number into zero and then if I turn this so it has turned three millimeter uh, outward from the workplace okay next uh, we need to reverse this and then set this back to zero and do one cutting and then when the tool has reversed the maximum that we will cut for roughing is a 0 0.5 so move this to 0 0.5 and then we will cut again Okay. We will see the cutting process now. Okay, for this machine uh, to cut, the work the workpiece need to turn this direction, so it will hit the cutting surface. If it's moving uh, clockwise, it won't cut because it will hit the bottom part so the handle operation to cut is to push this down Okay, this uh, notch, remaining notch, is the uh, the cause of it is uh, because the tool is not centered with the tail stop. So recentering is uh, needed for this. Okay, now since this uh, surface uh, has uh, been flattened. 
and do is first we touch this to the surface and then we set uh, this to zero so if we turn this dial back so this uh, is the one that uh, moving so the next uh, cut that we will do is this direction okay so first we move this a bit and then we touch this and then we set the x to zero so the way that we will cut this is uh, move the tool 0 0.5 millimeter inside and then we will cut Uh, 45 mm yeah so the tool will travel 0 0.5 inside and 45 millimeter on this direction Okay, currently this uh, radius is 26. We need to turn this down to 10.8. So we will turn up until 11.5 millimeter and then we will start to measure again. So 26 minus 12 is about 14 mm. So this will move up to 14 and then we will check back the dimension again okay currently the radius has been turned down to 11.9 so we need one more millimeter. So Okay, for finishing uh, this product, normally we cut uh, around 0 0.2 millimeter, and the speed that we use is uh, 1,280. <coughs> so when you change uh, the tools, cutting tools, you need to set back uh, the zero location so that uh, you know the starting point of your cut. Okay, previously we cut this up until 44 millimeter. This is because we, are, we have to leave some space so that if you want this to be a <coughs> clean cut, uh, a flat cut, so we will cut another one millimeter 
from here to the center. So the first thing that we need to do is set the zero location for the x axis. So this will travel up until fourteen point nine four. 